Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to smooth your photos when it comes to Photoshop and using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique in the shortest time possible. And in this video, we are basically going to be using 10 minutes to smoothen the model's skin. So, in order to understand frequency separation, we are basically going to create two copies. One copy involving the texture and the other involving color. So, just come to the background image and you drag and drop on the new folder icon. And you can as well press Ctrl J or you can use Command J twice to create these two layers rename this to color and double click on the name to rename this to texture and for the names as we have named them simply come and select the color layer for a color layer we want to remain with colors and for a texture layer we want to remain with the texture so just come to the color layer select it turn off the texture layer simply come to filter come to blur come to gaussian blur take the red slider down click on an area that seems to have more skin details in your photo then click and hold down the radius slider and drag it forward so the point here is you have to stop at that point whereby you are just starting to close out on the skin textures in the image so just move the radius slider so click and drag forward like that and stop at that point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear so at about 5.6 that is when my textures are just starting to disappear from this kind of image i'll just come and click ok select the texture layer now turn it on remember for texture layer we want to remain with the details or the textures in this selected layer. So simply come to image, apply, apply image. So just come to image, apply image, and it's going to open up this apply image window. The source is basically the name of the photo that we're trying to edit. Under layer, select color layer, channel, RGB. Make sure for the blending, because this is a 16-bit image, make sure the blending is set to add, or pass 100%, scale is to offset 0, and make sure invert is turned on and you'll see the textures on this gray layer then in case you're editing an 8-bit image these are settings that you have to use so after selecting the color and channel rgb make sure blending set to subtract the scale is to offset 128 make sure invert is not turned on and you'll basically have the same result so for our case ours is a 16-bit image layer color layer channel rgb blending for a 16-bit image is add scale is to offset zero and turn on the invert option and click ok change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light after that select both layers by holding down control and you can drag them and put them into a group below here so just come and rename that to frequency separation after that just come and click on the drop down arrow to open up the group and come and select the color layer simply come to the texture and turn it off the reason for turning off the texture layer is because we want to blend the colors without having any kind of interference from the textures in this very image that is why we have briefly turned off the texture layer in this case come to the brushes and get the mesa brush tool in case you can't locate the mesa brush tool under the brushes simply locate your mesa brush tool below here so for every tool we select in photoshop the settings are always going to display above here. So after you have selected the Mr. Brush tool, simply click on the drop down arrow. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. And click here and select clean brush. Then make sure the second option that is click clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%. Load is 75%. Mix is 90%. The flow is 100%. And make sure sample orders is not checked. So after doing this, make sure that you resize the mesa brush tool accordingly. You can increase or reduce on the size of the mesa brush tool by using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or reduce on the size of the mesa brush tool according to the colors that you want to blend in a given area. So for this step, we want to blend the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone. So how do we blend? Simply make sure you don't zoom all the way in. Retouch at a distance with the color layer selected simply come and start blending so how do we blend click and hold down click and hold down and move the mix sub brush tool in the given direction depending on how a given area is shaped in a given area so you can see blend colors like that so mix the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone so you, you can see how we are blending follow the direction or the shape of a given area and you have to keep on doing this so follow the direction or the shape of the model's face and blend the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone and the shadows alone 
and where those colors are transitioning from one color to another, just get a very small brush and you blend the middle area. So just do that for the rest of the areas that have uneven skin color. You can see the nose has to be blended in this kind of up and down direction for the dark areas of the nose and blend the middle part of the eyebrows. So you have to do this for the rest of the areas that have skin tones or skin color on the subject's body so that you can create a nice transition between those colors. So I'll do this for the rest of the model's skin or body. So take your time as you're doing this because the more you practice, the better you're going to be getting at the retouching or skin smoothening process when it comes to Photoshop. So I'm just going to blend the fingers like that, come to the neck area and try to blend and smoothen the neck area of the subject. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the model skin like that, blend and follow the direction. You can see I'm moving the Mr. Brush tool in this kind of direction so that I can keep and maintain the original color of or the shape of the model's body so that I don't change her completely. So follow the way a given area is shaped on the model's body. By just doing that, you can see what we have right now. You can come and turn on the texture layer after blending, and you can say before, after, before, after, for just the blending process on the skin. So after working on the skin tones, the next step is going to be perfecting or fine-tuning the colors of the model's skin. So we have perfected the colors. Right now, we just want to perfect the textures as well. So just come to the texture layer and simply come and select it. Come and get the clone stamp tool. Or you can press S on the keyboard. And for settings, make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft front brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. Opacity is 100%. The flow is also 100%. Align this check and make sure the sample is set to current layer because we want to remove blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer, which is the texture layer. So you can zoom in for removing the blemishes. Make sure you zoom all the way in so that you can see or identify the blemishes or pimples. So to remove a pimple in a given area, simply make sure that the size of the constant tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove and simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and click on a clean area near the pimple option and click on a clean area near the pimple or the blemish. Release the option key on the keyboard and simply click once again over the pimple to cover it. So for every pimple, you have to keep on sampling clean skin by holding down option key on the keyboard and click on a clean skin near the pimple. Release the option key on the keyboard and simply click once again over the pimple to cover the pimple with clean skin. So you have to do this for the rest of the pimples and blemishes all over the image. So just do this and you can see how natural it removes the blemishes. You can see it is a better and more natural way and doesn't leave any kind of patches regarding the skin details from areas whereby we have been able to eliminate the pimples or blemishes. So just going to remove all these pimples like that. So the purpose of zooming in is because we want to see or identify all those areas that have the pimples or blemishes so that we can identify them and we remove them. Remember, skin retouching is all about or it entails perfecting colors and perfecting textures. So for step number one, we perfected the colors or the skin tones using the Mr. Brush tool. And for step number two, we are trying to perfect the textures using the clone stamp tool. So take your time as you're trying to clear away or remove all these pimples and skin imperfections from the model's skin regarding textures. So take your time, keep on zooming in and out to see or identify the location of different pimples and blemishes so that you can try to eliminate them from the model's body or from the model's skin. So you can see how simple it is to retouch and understand frequency separation and have the better looking kind of portrait or photo when it comes to Photoshop. So you can simply even do it for the lips to try to get rid of those rough areas around the subject's lips. So you can see how easy it is. So command minus to 
zoom out and see in case you have left out any pimples you can now zoom in command plus or control plus on the keyboard and try to smoothen out and remove all those unwanted skin textures or details from the subjective skin so after you have done this we are going to show you the before and after for the overall skin retouching for this model's skin so command minus you can see i'm just going to close the frequency separation group you can see the overall before after i'm just going to slightly zoom in so you can see the before and the after for the skin retouching process for this very image so this is how you can simply understand how to do skin retouching in photoshop in just 10 minutes i hope you have learned a thing or two from this video ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.